with you on here. The, the purpose of this one hour, and I reserve the right to end it at any time, but the goal is one hour. It's totally informal. I'm not in a suit. Uh, and we want this to just be a platform for 11th graders, 10th graders that want to kind of take a peek and see what 11th grade might look like, 12th graders that want to look back and say, I wish I would have known that, and parents. We want this to be a stage for you every third Monday of the month. Uh, and so there's no right or wrong with this. And like I say, we reserved the right to end it early, but we wanted to create this stage. What, what, you, you, what do you think about that? I think that it's very important to be able to um, stay connected with our youth and, and with their parents and for them to be able to see um, the structure and also have a better understanding of the structure. Excellent. So uh, what you do is so important. So I want to not waste any time so I can get you in and out. Uh, so uh, what uh, Pooh does for you guys is she's a research analyst. So she, go, she goes and, and take a peek and she find out information. And she bring that information back and then we use that information. So <laughs> let me uh, stop sharing the screen so that you guys can see me while we give Pooh yeah. the stage here. All right, Pooh, you have the stage. What do you have for our 11 graders? Okay, so first of all, 11th graders are called juniors. And um, 11th graders are in preparation as, as well as seniors for planning for college. So for 11th graders, what that looks like is staying on track with their classes and grades, uh, taking the PSAT, um, evaluating their education options, making, huh? No, no, you're going, you on, you're on target. <laughs> Um, making a list of the colleges that they would like to apply to and to not just make a list but continue gathering college information, uh, organizing a testing plan, and just making sure that they're meeting any special requirements um, for these schools and stay involved with extracurricular activities. Now, some people may ask, well, what history do 11th graders take? Well, in a social studies Zoom, curriculum, Joe. 11th graders uh, in the United States are usually taught U.S. history uh, or uh, the uh, world from the 1870s to the 21st century. And they may also learn more advanced world culture and geography knowledge, along with some more advanced social studies, such as psychology and government. So, so, so for those so of you who can, may not you know, eleventh grade. Pooh, can you go back real quick? Sure. You said psychology at eleventh grade. Yes. Mm hmm. I, I. So what they go do when they get to college? <laughs> um, I think that they're getting them ready for college in the eleventh grade. And um, psychology is one of those courses that you do have to take for certain um, career goals, for certain um, careers. Uh, psychology is definitely one of the things that you have to take. And I think that it's awesome that they're getting them ready for it in the 11th grade. Okay. No, I, I thought that was, you misspoke, but um, I, I don't remember taking psychology in um, high school. Me either. I mean, the whole school curriculum has changed so much since we were in school. I mean, they're really learning some advanced things right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you, please continue. So for those of us who may not know how old an 11th grader is, an 11th grader is between 16 and 17. And when you talk about school supplies for 11th graders, you know, it's pretty much the same as other 
kids, you know, the number two pencils, the white glue, the pink eraser, the white eraser. And for those of you who don't know what the white eraser does, it erases ink um, and the washable felt markers, scissors, pocket folders, um, and notebook paper. And that's all the information that I have right now for the 11th graders. As did far you, as question-wise. Did you have anything for, like, so people would know, does it make a difference what state you're in? Is it different in, in Cleveland than Chicago than uh, St. Paul? Well, I'm not really sure as far as, are you speaking as far as school supplies? No, 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 just a, a 11th grade period. Like in some regions, they may require some different depending on the school district you're in, just any differences, nuances there? Well, the only thing that I see that is different um, in the UK. So in the UK, a sixth form college is the equivalent of 11th and 12th, um, also in India. So in the UK, at the age of 16, they give their students uh, final exams called GCSE, which is also known as matriculation or SSC board exams. And they also do it in India as well. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm afraid to ask, what is that? But okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I also learned too that um, in Mexico, basic education is divided in three steps. So they have primary school, which is one through six. Then they have junior high school, which is seven through nine. And then high school is 10 through 12. It's grades 10 through 12. So they're pretty much, you know, just like our educational system over there. Excellent, excellent. Well. Uh, you have anything else? Because I'm going to go into what we've linked all 11th graders to profession-wise. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the uh, just the state of mind of 11th grade males, state of mind of 11th grade females. So you guys, if I'm wrong, chime in and correct me. And then I'm going to talk about uh, the future uh, in terms of where they could potentially go. Uh, and then I'm going to get into the grade, I mean, the subjects such as what vocabulary, you know, math, and so forth. Any thoughts, input well, you have? Well, the only thing that I would like to add is that I want everyone to understand that no matter where they are, their parents everywhere are feeling the same things that they're feeling. Parents are concerned about, you know, in-person and online school options. Um, a lot of uh, people are, you know, basically concerned about this coronavirus and what that looks like having their kids in school. And then you have other people, their children are concerned with the quality of education that they're receiving online. You hear a lot of kids saying that online learning is difficult because they don't have access to their instructor to ask specific questions. And also, there's still a huge um, cry for there to be equipment for all the students to be able to work online if necessary. And then in other parts, the teachers. You have a lot of teachers that are protesting against reopening these schools this upcoming school year. So, and I'm seeing this all across the board from St. Paul to Cleveland to Missouri, it's the same thing. So I just want everyone to know that they are not alone in their fears, that they are not alone in making this tough decision right now about their children's education, and that the teachers too are feeling it with them, that they also are pushing more than ever for the kids to be safe and also be able to get a good quality of learning. The are you able to see the grid in front of you, the map? Give me one second here. I had to. Okay, yes, I see it. So what, what I like to make sure that I promote uh, when it comes to education is this, because uh, our ancestors built pyramids without the formal education that 
people are dying for now. Uh, acquiring skills, acquiring skills and networking to me is the purpose of education. Acquiring skills, skill meaning something you know how to do. So acquiring skills and networking. If you don't go to school ever, how do you build your network of people? How do you gain skills? You can do that remotely. We get that. But acquiring skills and networking to me is the purpose of school. What do you what do you say to that? Um, I would say that in the way that things are going right now, you have a high percentage of people that are looking more into trades. Um, you don't have too many people that's really um depending on the traditional education as far as going to college you have more people that are looking into the trade so the authors the electrician you know the librarians um and things like that you know people are looking more towards those type of things how can they be self-sufficient you know with everything happening with the job market you have people that went to school for a total of six years or less, and they can't even work in the field that they spent all of that time going to school for. So you have people doing the next best thing, you know, going off of what they're gifted at. Now, now, and, and you know, skills is is uh, not just in the trades, right? So whether you want to be a nurse, that's just, you gotta have a skill set, police skill set, uh, secretary skill skill. <laughs> so. You know what I mean? It's not just the Absolutely. labor stuff. Yeah. I now, agree. I, I want to end it this way because um, I want people to know who we are. So the benefit to all the parents watching right now, anywhere in the country, and we have right here in front of me, this is a list of our 11 graders around the country here, <laughs> what I have right here. The benefit for you guys is the lady you hear speaking right now, is assisting with almost everything research and administrative wise and so you're gonna right now whether you know it or not have someone who got your back to do re reconnaissance research uh, um, and, and, and data entry so that you can start to have every single month uh, for August what should you know reading history math science wise September what should you know reading history science wise October that's what the lady you just heard speaking is helping me to work on for you as an 11th grader or a parent to know that you got backup. Uh, any, anything final you wanted to say, um, Pooh, before you get off? Um, I think the only thing that I would like to leave everyone with is just, I know that things have not been certain, but I would just encourage people to, to just have hope. Um, and know that not just myself, but you and other people on our team are working diligently every day to support them in different ways and their children. You know, Camila uh, is the 11th grader. <laughs> She's on the list for today. So um, we're today is not the, we're not giving away money today for 11th graders, but just know that we're working on other arenas. What was that, Pooh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, no, I thought you said something. No. <laughs> okay. Well, you're free to stay on. I'm, I'm about to go into some details here, so uh, totally up to you. I'll stay on. All right. Okay, everyone. What you see in front of you right now is a uh, brochure when you fold it. <laughs> it looks like just an eight and a um, um, We'll say eight and a half by eleven, but it's it, um it's sitting horizontal here, so it's not an eight and a half by eleven. But what this is is something that we would send out to you via text, or we can mail it to you. But what this is, and I'm gonna bring the annotations up so you guys can see it here, because I want you to know this brochure, depending on what city or state you're in, we would just tweak it just a little bit. But at the same time, it's the same information. And that's what I want to talk about real briefly so you know the structure of how we're going to help your child this year. So first and foremost, this is it. This is the topic, 11th grade university. What is the university to us? It is 
just like a regular university, it's a bunch of, um, it's a campus, a bunch of buildings that each specialize in something so that your child can have a broad new skill set. So the way we're doing it is we've said, let's take 12 blocks, let's take 16 blocks, and let's ask these blocks to do what a university would do and specialize in a subject matter. So we have blocks that specialize in reading, blocks that specialize in math, blocks that specialize in history and science, all with the mindset of helping right here, 11th grade. And that's why we say university is because we own the block and we ask in every block to cover a subject matter for these 11th graders. I hope you can you know, appreciate that. Getting blocks to say I'm a help is a big deal and it's very, very, very tough to do. <laughs> now, one of the things we do with this whole concept is we've linked each 11th grader that's a part of this network to some sponsors, people who's going to stay with them for those nine months or eight months that they're in that grade. So if you are a professional and you hear your career industry, this is the grade we want you to help us with. So anyone that's a caterer, we're asking all caterers to help us with 11th graders. And we don't want to define help. Help is whatever you see fit, whether it's financially, spiritually, emotionally, physical, you define what help is, but help is you doing something for someone else. Caterers, we asking you to do that with 11th graders. Sales store owners, we asking you to do that with 11th graders. We're asking Coast Guard, hold on. All right, let me go to this video here um, so that I can hear, so you guys won't hear my wife speaking. Hold on, let me mute. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to play this video so you guys can watch this. All right, you guys, sorry about that. Um, as I was stating here, the caterers are the next ones. Then we have the cell phone stores, all people in the Coast Guard. And this isn't just the veterans, anyone that's in the Coast Guards. Uh, doctors, that also include dentists, any DJs. You know, we got a lot of DJs out there. So DJs, we asking you to commit to these 11th graders. All our H heating and ventilation technicians, we asking you to commit to 11 graders. So let me give you an example on what how this works and how that what this looks like. It's hard if you're in 11 grade and um, and you guys electricity at home get cut off. How are you going to do your homework if your electricity is cut off? So we understand parents' responsibility. Hard times could have happened. Who do you who are you going to call? If that parent already called family and they can't come together to do it, do you just sit in the dark? No. You communicate. You call this number, 312-405-8844. You explain the situation. Because you have an 11th grader in the house, we're going to start reaching out to these people, caterers, dentists, doctors, DJs, cell phone stores, in your zip code. And we're going to be saying, hey, we got a situation here. We got a situation we need to raise $200 to get this uh, household with the 11th grader lights back on. Now think about, step back from that, think about how important that is. <laughs> you have a family in need and they're able to make a phone call um, anywhere in the nation, but we, we're strongest in Chicago, we're strong in Gary, and we're getting strong in Atlanta. If you're outside of those three places, uh, it might be tougher because we don't have enough block by block relationships with the people there. But the point, the concept is still the same that if 11th grade household is in trouble, we're going to do what we can to rally the troops to be there and help them. All right. So that explains that. Now let's get to when we meet every third Monday of the month at 2 p.m. Central Time. If you check your watch right now, we're within that time frame. That's why we're doing this. Now, I want to go here real briefly. These are the other supporters of education. 
in the house with that 11th grader, might be a third grade uh, brother or sibling. Beauty supply stores will help that third grade. Might be a fifth grader in the house with that 11th grader. All car washes help fifth graders. It might be a ninth grader in the house with that 11th grader. All cleaners help them. The point is we've created a platform for every grade, K through 12th grade, to have businesses on the ready, on standby, ready to help them the way I just described. So hopefully that makes sense. Now what I want to do here is bring up this next slide. These are the specific blocks, okay? Let's look at this because this here is where we're going to get to the meet the nitty gritty. All 11th graders dealing with or in uh, vocabulary, without vocabulary words, you want to understand reading. <laughs> so vocabulary is a part of reading. So anyone on normal or steward from 67th Street to 70th, we're asking them to always be on the lookout for vocabulary words and reading books that 11th graders should be uh, knowing. So all my 10th graders that's getting ready to start 11th graders, or if you're in the South and you already started, uh, these blocks here are the ones that's doing that research to present on today to people who uh, are in the 11th grade from a reading and vocabulary standpoint. All right, then we come here. In the same vicinity, this area, all 11th graders history. Harvard, 67th to 70th in Harvard and Stewart covers all things dealing with what our 11th graders should know when it comes to history, you guys. That's a big deal. So I met a person on 68th in Harvard. They said, what do, you, what do you need me to do? I said, can you Google 11th grade history and write down something? What that's going to do? They didn't understand. This is wasting my time. I said, no, no, no. You're, you're a part of something that's bigger than you know. Because if you do that, and we get the neighbor behind you on the next block to do that, the neighbor in front of you to do that, now we got more than just one perspective on 11th grade history. And when we get all of these blocks to do their small part in this one little area here, it's going to cause this one area to be more united. It's going to cause this one area to have something in common. It's going to cause this one area to have people uh, outside of that area caring about them. Right now, before we promote this, the people on 14th and Springfield can care less about 67th and normal, 69th and Yale. Ooh, Yale is um, uh, 70th and Yale. No, nah, it's 67th and Yale, that tall building over there. But our people on 14th and Springfield don't care about these blocks. Why should they? They got their own things to worry about. But once you guys know what we're building and you start doing it, it'd be easy for 14th and Springfield that has three 11th graders to care about this because they want to know what do you have for my 11th grader for reading? What do you have for my 11th grader in history? Over here, Princeton. Princeton covers all things dealing with math for 11th graders. They want to come over there and compete and see how smart they are from 11th grade math perspective. Then you got science. Science is all about exploration. So are we making sure that these 11th graders are out exploring and meeting and testing and seeing new things? And that's what Yale does. So I know that's a lot. <laughs> I know that's a lot to digest, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys at least saw what our vision is for dealing with all things, dealing with 11th graders. So let's do this now, because I want to now be able to show you part of the screen and this is going to allow me to hopefully bring this video up and then we also going to read directly from um, Wikipedia let's see where's the screen at there it is so give it one second here you guys give it one second Now it's taking a little bit too long. All right, let me just stop sharing for a minute here. All right, my internet is very, very slow. I'm in the mountains, so this is not abnormal. It's not abnormal. It's unfortunate. <laughs> but okay, now it looks like we can go back on. So let me go back in here now. 
I want to read this to you guys, read it with you guys here. It's on the internet. Okay, so here we go. Let's pull up the internet. All right, that's my Facebook, so I want to show you guys that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's, let's make this bigger here. We're going to read this together. I guess it's not working. Let me see what's happening on Facebook Live here. Let's see what's happening. Yep. Just as I thought. All right, Pooh, I'm going to end it here because I'm having uh, major internet issues. And this is a good test. So I want to make sure everyone know this is why we need your $12 a year. <laughs> This is one of the reasons why the bandwidth, I need that advanced, advanced internet so that we can, uh, the speed won't allow this type of buffoonery to be taking place. So I apologize, but again, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. And this will be what you help me make it be because with the right levels of support, this can be a full hour of um, 11th graders interacting, talking to each other and all things dealing with them being as successful as we can help them become. So I'm going to end it here um, having internet issues and uh, we're going to just take it up but I'm glad I got some vision out there for you guys every third Monday of the month. So the next one is September 21st. So September Monday, September 21st. We, you know, I'm going to see if we can have some 11th grade instructors on here uh, coming on at different times so they can give their nugget on history, their nugget on um, uh, on science, their nugget on math, and we'll see what we can do. We're doing this for every grade, so this is a big undertaking here. Peace.